Kissing assemblies ensure the structural integrity of any well bore and with proper cement in the annulus that ensures proper hydraulic isolation. In this module, we'll be looking at which we call the fundamentals of casing design. We'll be defining types of casing. We'll be talking about how we choose the case, how we choose casing setting depths. We'll be looking at the data required for the detailed casing design. Then we're going to, to talk about casing design concept. We're looking at um, how to calculate internal yield pressure. That's the burst. We're looking at collapse and calculations. We're looking at yield calculations. Then we'll be looking at uniaxial backing and traction analysis calculations. Then go ahead to define define and elucidate on this concept then we will take a very good example on I mean, a very good example and apply all the concepts that we're going to be talking about in this model in this particular mo model we'll just be talking about the casing types um, good day everyone once again welcome to the world engineer world design and engineering model where in this particular model we'll be talking about the fundamentals of casing design so so jumping right into it in this particular model we'll be introducing the topic we'll be defining what casing and casing joints are and we'll be talking about different casing types in subsequent modules like i like i said we'll be talking about how we select these depths we're talking about the data required for casing design etc and talk all the way down to a case study on casing design so what are casing string and um, casing strings as i as written here casing strings can be defined as all country tubular goods that's why we kind of call them octg which form the structural conduit for the world so if you look at a world that has been drilled from top to bottom look at it from the top it looks like a telescope going all the way down where you have the larger casing on the outside and the smaller casing in the inside so it's it's it, go, it starts very large and things as you go down and goes all the way down so from top to bottom it looks like a telescope so you have the drilling casing which is the casing used to reach and, and structurally isolate the, the objective you have the production casing which you kind of set in the structural area where you have your hydrocarbons and you tend to to produce that's why you call them the production cases because they, they will be set and they will be definitely perforated then you have liners liners are joints that don't that you don't run all the way to surface so they are pretty much hung off in the last casing string so you can have production liners where you have production liners those liners are the liners that will be hung off then perhaps you end up perforating them to produce the objective sands and you can have production liners uh, sorry you can have intermediate liners which are set to isolate um, perhaps high pressure zones or areas that are very very unconsolidated or you really want to isolate before you get to the next zone it, is, it should be known that the average cost of tubulars is about 18 percent of the average work cost in fact it gets up to 25 percent so which is why they must be selected properly it must be designed and selected properly so what are the main functions of the casings in the world bowl? so casings are meant for maintaining the whole integrity and very very important because you, once, once you drill a well bore because of the hoop stresses in the well bore that will want that will want to make the well bore collapse in you have to set the casing string to ensure that it 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 structurally isolates it it prevents the contamination of freshwater bearing um, sands that's for the top casing strings your conductor casing and your surface casing those casings are meant we meant to isolate the top section of the well bore so that the next section which we'll be drilling which we might be drilling with perhaps all base mud will not contaminate the water table so you have these casing strings run isolate run cemented to isolate the shallower areas so that we don't contaminate the water table before we introduce all base mud um to support our causated sediment yes you use like i said once you perturb a, a a compact area you start drilling there is um, the tendency for the well bore to collapse inwardly and that, that that's what you call the hoop stresses so first of all while you're drilling you use the mud to provide the required radial stress to hold the well bore from collapsing in but as once with time the shells in that section might begin to deteriorate or begin to swell and the hoop stresses will begin to increase and the well bore will want to cave in but when you set the casing string in and cement you put permanent permanently a structure in place that holds the well bore that keeps the well bore um solid you use it to is isolate norm ab abnormally pressured zones say, say, say perhaps you're drilling a well and the the shallower section of the well is normally pressured so you might want to set a casing to isolate that normally pressured zone before you get into the high pressure zone so 
that kissing string the kissing string that's exactly what this statement is saying so you use that kissing string to isolate the normally pressure zones before you move into the high pressure zone. but also you can actually drill you can actually encounter high um, highly pressured zones and wanting to go into a normally pressured zone so you use those casing strings to isolate the normally pressured zone drill into the abnormally pressured zone case it off before you go into the normally pressured zone so we use these casing strings to ensure that we have that we isolate destroy that we make life easy for ourselves we isolate the sections the sections that are that differ from other sections we are about to encounter and ensure that the well ball remains stable while we drill through then it also ensures that we protect the weak weak formations from heavier mud weight required in deeper portions of the world ball. so what that this statement is actually saying is what i discussed in the past so if you have an abnormally pressured zone below you you would want to case off the normally pressured zone because you'll be going into that high pressure zone with higher mud weight once you case off the, the shallower section you can now introduce higher mud weight into the into the next section that you intend to drill and that way you don't exert high density in the in the weak zones so that's pretty much what that statement is saying so what you see the schematic you see to your right different casing casing types as your conductor casing surface casing intermediate and your production casing and to the left you see different sections how different sections will be cased off where you have your your kick margin trip margin your fracture gradient and your pore pressures how you kind of isolate those areas as you go up we'll be talking about that particular this particular what we have here in your let me just put this up quickly so you will be, we'll be talking about everything you see here in detail in another in another module but it this to our left this to our right kind of shows how you is isolate different areas depending on their on, on the pore pressure in in that regime so the first casing type is what we call the conductor casing the conductor casing measures from about 42 inches to 1178 I mean, outside diameter. It's used to seal off unconsolidated formations at shallow depth, use it to stop washout at, uh, under the drilling rig to protect freshwater sands and to give the base and, base and support for the next casing string. Now, this conductor casing is very, very important. In land operations, it's, it's driven with the hydraulic or diesel hammer. In swamp, formation, in swamp environment, I mean, we kind of drive them. In shallow water environments, you can either drill them or hammer them as well. In deep water, because of um, after doing the cost benefit analysis it's actually smarter to want to jet them in and allow them to sediment so when you you jet you jet you, ha you have your bit on you have your bit anchored on bottom you jet the conductor to bottom then you allow the sediment to settle and it creates sort of a, a shaft friction on the on the conductor and pre and prevents it from from subsidence from subsiding on bottom so in different terrains you have different ways to install this conductor casing but it's it it acts it has the same function in whatever terrain you're operating so and which which is what we current which is what we see on this slide to seal off unconstituted formations stop washouts from under the drilling rig protect freshwater sands and give us the base for the next casing string so the next thing we're going to be talking about here is the surface casing the surface casing is the first casing string that is used after the conductor pipe so and most times it is required to by law casing string doesn't cover the sorry the way the conductor casing doesn't cover the surface casing covers it to ensure that we fully protect the the water table so this casing we use it to drill as much as we can to protect the water table then it is installed and cemented and the main task is number one like i mentioned to protect the water table secondly it supports the wellhead and the bop equipment because that's where the, the wellhead will be installed then on the wellhead we install the bop and go ahead to drill the high pressure zones use it we use it to case off unconsolidated formations it supports other casing strings and we use it to case off lost secretion zones because of course we expect the shallower section of the well bore to be very unconsolidated and because of and it has the propensity to 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 fracture easily and create loss circulation so surface casing one of the most important um casing to ensure that we have um proper well bore integrity the next casing string is the intermediate i would say the, the most widely used is the inter intermediate casing string because the entire any any casing string that is after the the surface casing and before the production casing is what you call the intermediate casing so the intermediate casing 
like like as you can see it's properly defined here is any casing string that is between the surface and production string that intermediate casing may or may not be cemented full length but what we use it to do is to ensure that whatever we have drilled before the production casing is properly isolated so other uses is that we use it to seal off weaker zones we use it to protect previous casing strings from higher pressures and we use it to provide support in the event that we want to run a liner below it so if you have a say you've, you've hammered your conductor casing you've drilled the next whole section you've run your surface casing you have the water table fully protected whatever case whatever section you're going to be drilling even if you're not getting to the reservoir section is going to be isolated with the intermediate casing and in the event that you want to run a line that intermediate casing is what's going to provide the the structure for you to install a liner so you're going to be hanging off your liner on that intermediate casing so that's the use of the intermediate casing then um, the last but not the least you have the production casing so the production casing is the casing which is run across the river the reservoir section so as you can see in them many uses here we have the production casing is used to control the hydrocarbon bearing zones that will be produced it's the casing string that provides the structural integrity to the well bore of to the well bore holding out the producing zones and it will be set before completing the well so everything that we've said here that have been that's been mentioned here the uses of the production casing so what's saying in the nutshell is once you drill through the production zone now you will run the production casing set it and once you set it you now goes ahead to provide that structural integrity before you go ahead to perforate to produce the hydro hydrocarbon stands in some wells where the completion um, design or strategy is different after drilling the well bore we might not run the production casing we might decide to run standalone screens which will still provide that structural integrity for the well bore so it depends also on on the concept on the design concept and in some well bores we might decide that after drilling that whole section we might not run a production casing we might decide to run a production liner in this case that production casing will not be run all the way to surface so it will be run and it will hang off in the last intermediate casing so thank you very much everyone in next module we will be discussing how we choose this depth how we hang off the, the depth which we set our casing joints and why we choose those particular dates, depths. So thank you very much everyone for listening to this video to the end. Please do go ahead to watch, like, subscribe, ask your questions so that will make this channel as, inter as interactive as it should be. Like, like I said, thank you very much everyone. Do have a safe and productive rest of your day. Let's continue to follow these videos. Bye for now.